What's happening my Jack family? Coach Scott here, jackedafter40.com. Welcome to another episode of the Jacked After 40 Life Vlog. We're gonna be going through all the details of week three of my mini cut. Gonna start with a physique update. Do a little comparison how I'm looking today compared to how I looked at the beginning of this transformation. Then we'll do a weigh-in, see how much weight I've lost this week, kind of break it down day by day, see how if it was a linear drop in weight, how it all unfolded, uh, as well as every single meal that I ate for the week. You're going to see some footage from my training here, all the details of my workout plan that I've been following this month, uh, and then my overall lifestyle, just gaining insights into how I've been feeling throughout this entire process. Uh, um, three out of four weeks done here. I can't wait to share this experience with you. Thank you for following along this journey with me, sharing your insights, sharing your feedback. I appreciate you so much. If you enjoyed today's video, please smash that thumbs up button for me again. I would really, really appreciate it. And continue to drop those comments down below because this is a shared experience. I want to hear what you're up to as well and uh, share your journey with me in the comment section below. All right, time to see how I'm looking after three weeks of this mini cut compared to how I looked at the start. I think right Right away, you can see even just relaxed here, more details in the lower abdominals here. So carrying less belly fat, uh, less fat underneath the belly button so I can barely grab onto anything. The skin is definitely tightening up there, definitely tighter along the love handles. Love handles are shrinking so if I grab onto here, there's still, there's going to be some skin I'll always be able to grab on here no matter how lean I get. So. Relaxed, I couldn't be more stoked with how I'm looking. I'm definitely in my happy place, loving it. I'm gonna turn to the side, do a little side, so re relaxed view here, and then flexing. So I really like how I looked relaxed. Stomach is definitely flattening. You can see the details even when I was just relaxed there. Let's get back to the side here. So again, relaxed. Tighten it up, and again, when you tighten up, it really pulls things together. I can kind of see some little ab veins. Even when I was just standing relaxed, I could kind of see that little lower ab vein there. So things are definitely firming up. You can kind of see even more oblique and serratus kind of details up here, just flexing in this relaxed position. And then turning to the side, so relaxed from the side here, and then flexed. Tough for me to see in this camera view but in the mirror here I'm definitely seeing more detail in the obliques how they come all the way down feeling really really good with what I'm seeing here let's see how the back is looking Can't wait to see how that looks. So all in all, I am stoked with how I'm looking. Couldn't be happier. Hope you guys are seeing the visual, visual progress here. One more week to go. Time for the weigh-in. Once again, same time, same morning routine, keeping everything as consistent as possible. If you recall, my goal is to drop a pound and a half per week. And I am weighing in at 143.8 pounds. So that is down 1.4 pounds again this week. So the target is about 0.2 pounds per day that I would like to drop. And this week has been pretty consistent if we look at uh, the app here on the first day I stayed the same and then I dropped 0.2 then 0.4 then 0.2 the rest of the time so this has been the most consistent my weight has dropped there's so many factors that can influence that mainly how much you empty your bladder and and bowels before you step on the scale there uh, so first week I dropped two pounds which you would expect uh, the first week uh, with the loss of a little bit of water weight a little bit of the food in the digestive system so you got to take that first week with a grain of salt and then second week drop 0.4, 1.4, and then third week, 1.4 again. So keeping things as consistent as possible, just gonna keep rolling with it. This week upcoming, the final week in this mini cut, I couldn't be happier with the way things are going right now. So dropping another 1.4 pounds this week will definitely see things really tighten up and uh, will definitely have me Pretty damn happy with how this whole mini cut wrapped up here. So looking forward to sharing the rest of the journey. Now let's get to the meals and the training. Now let's dive into the details of my diet for the week. Once again, I nailed my caloric target each and every day. 
right between 2,000 and 2,100 calories each and every day. Macronutrient ratio, my natural eating tendencies, I'm right around 40% carbs, 30% fat, 30% protein. So it was in that ballpark each and every day. Some days a little bit off there, but uh, never too far off. So getting an adequate amount of each macronutrient. First three meals, exactly the same as they were the previous two weeks. So starting my day with the breakfast shake, one cup of homemade kefir, one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, a tablespoon of black maca powder, a scoop of protein powder, an ass load of spinach, and a banana. Along with that, I have 5,000 IUs of vitamin D3, 300 milligrams of magnesium, 300 milligrams of ashwagandha, uh, three triple strength omega capsules that is a combined EPA DHA of 2.7 grams, uh, 1,000 MCGs of vitamin B12. I've been taking that for thing just about close to three months now ever since I started visiting my naturopath and getting some acupuncture. My blood levels had me at 192. My naturopath wanted me to see optimally up around 400. So I've been supplementing with that lately. Um, and that is it for the supplementation. Meal number two and meal number three, I swapped around midweek. So typically meal number two, I've been having the 260 grams of plain Greek yogurt along with some frozen mixed berries, a little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on top. Big reason I've had at, it, at that stage, my pre-workout meal is because I was training clients and it was just convenient for me to bring the Greek yogurt with me and then get my workout in immediately afterwards. But we have been in lockdown right now. So I've gone back to what my normal eating patterns have been, which is my second meal is typically the four large brown free range eggs, uh, two third cup of oats, large flake oats, uh, some mixed berries in there and some mixed veggies on the side. Uh, so that has always been meal number three three for the first two weeks, but I've switched that to number two and the Greek yogurt is now number three. So same meals, exact same portions and everything. I just find that this helps me to sustain my hunger throughout the day or, or not hunger. I'm the, it, it prevents me from feeling hungry. It sustains my appetite, keeps everything under control a, a lot better because that Greek yogurt meal is, it's just a smaller meal. And I find that it's perfect mid afternoon, uh, like post workout and before dinner. Um, it just works out where I just, I just feel more energized. I feel that I'm getting even better workouts because of it. So swap those around. Post-workout, I have five grams of creatine monohydrate with water and four ounces of palm pomegranate juice. Most days, there's some days where I just have it with a squirt of flavoring instead of the palm juice. Uh, this palm juice is about 75 calories for the four ounces. Uh, so if I want a bit of a larger dinner, I need more calories for my dinner, I'll just subtract it from this uh, instead of anything else throughout the day. Uh, but still, always the five grams of creatine. post workout. On the weekends, even when I'm not training, I still have this um, just throughout the day. Just because creatine, there's lots of health benefits to it, brain function, heart health. Um, just It's just one of the most uh, researched supplements up there, so I'm going to consume it on a daily basis. Now let's get to dinner. Saturday I had pulled pork. This was leftover from week number one. So uh, week number one, week number two, and week number three, I've had pulled pork. I only had to make it once and spread it out through each of these three weeks. This is the, the last serving that I've had from that. Had this along with some rice and a pepper. And Sunday I had some chicken. It was diced up and cooked in some fajita seasoning along with sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Monday I had a delicious salmon filet along with some yellow homemade potato fries and some Brussels sprouts. Tuesday, kids came over, we had Taco Tuesday. Um, only three tacos, I haven't had tacos in a while. Typically I'll have at least five of them. Uh, so this was not as satisfying as I'm used to it being. Typically I'd add a little bit of sour cream on there if I was in maintenance mode, muscle building mode, maybe a little extra cheese. I load those suckers up more than they were, but um, I could have always had five, I could have loaded everything up. I would have had to subtract from the other meals that I was consuming throughout the day. And I've just been keeping those meals consistent each and every day, um, just keeping the portion sizes the same every single day throughout this uh, transformation process. And I find it has been helping me tremendously. It just, it's just automatic, it's effortless, it's mindless. Um, and I just find that again, it's sustaining my energy throughout the day and just sticking with that right around 500 calorie dinner as well. So I just made that dinner fit the 500 calories. Yes, as much as I would have enjoyed more. Um, it worked, it was satisfying. I it sustained my hunger for the rest of the day. So it wasn't too bad at all. Then on uh, Wednesday, I had 
a tuna steak that I fried in the frying pan, just a little bit of olive oil in there, but a minute and a half each side, some seasonings on top. And I had that along with rice and a pepper. Thursday night, I had, oh my gosh, oh, chicken breast again, the fajita seasoning, rice, and a pepper. And then Friday, again, this was leftover. Actually, the chicken breast was leftover from last week as well. Uh, so I divided the half portion last week when I made this dish, had it now. And then Friday night, uh, I had chili. This was again leftover from week one. So I've had chili three weeks in a row. So this week I had the pulled pork was leftover, didn't have to cook that meal. The chicken was leftover, didn't have to cook that, that chicken. And then the, the chili was leftover. So really makes things a whole lot easier for me. Um, a lot, of le lot less prep work involved here. And just again, makes it as effortless and smooth sailing as possible. And once again, you'll notice that nothing but whole natural foods other than the taco shells there. Um, so this is three weeks in a row where I have not included any kind of treats, any kind of junk food, anything like that. Um, I haven't had any cravings. There's no junk food in the house. Um, I'm just rolling with it. I just feel like I'm in the zone. I'm in the groove. So why try to work those treat foods in there when everything is just going so smoothly. I'm not having those cravings. Um, there'll be a time and a place for that. I just want to get this done and over with. I feel great. Um, I'm enjoying every meal that I'm eating. Do I want more? Yes. Am I looking forward to the treats and the desserts? Yes. It's a part of my lifestyle. But for four weeks out of the year, four simple weeks, I can stick to whole natural nutrient rich foods that fuel my performance, really allow me to feel my best while I'm in a deficit. Um, my sweet tooth is, it's being satisfied with all the meals I'm having. I feel just fine right now. So sticking with this whole natural food thing, I haven't had any kind of temptations. There's been no um, spur of the moment gatherings or anything. I think it really helps that we're in lockdown right now. Um, if something prevents it, presents itself in this final week, who knows? I may jump on it. I may jump on the opportunity to have a treat, but finish line, baby. Home stretch. Three quarters of the way through. This is the finish line in sight. Let's get to it. Just finished the final workout of the week, and I have absolutely owned every single workout, hitting personal best each and every workout this week. Each week has gotten better and better. That's a great sign that I am able to preserve my muscle mass right now during this deficit. If I was losing strength, if I was losing reps and all that, it'd be a sign that I might have to slow down on the deficit, but clearly I'm not being overly aggressive here. And again, the rate of fat loss has been right on point. The rate of weight loss has been right on point where I should be preserving muscle mass throughout this process. It's great that it's short term, but uh, also the foods that I've been consuming, the nutrient rich meals are definitely fueling these workouts and getting quality sleep each and every workout has been absolutely paramount to my success with this programming. So follow the Jack at the 40 Club January workout plan, third week here. Uh, Monday is back and biceps high volume. Tuesday is chest and triceps high volume. Wednesday is legs high volume, shoulders we just stimulate a bit. Thursday is back, chest, biceps, triceps, just stimulating them, trying to spark that growth response and um, basically speed up the recovery process. And then Friday, we blast shoulders with high volume and then just stimulate legs. Actually, that's what I do. I do the five days in a row. Ideally, you, uh, with this programming, you do the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, take Thursday off, then Friday, Saturday. Just gives you a little bit more rest before that final kind of upper body, lower body, uh, day there, but I like having my weekends off to do other fun um, activities. So workouts just again, absolutely freaking loving this process. And um, man, it's been a great workout plan. Really ideal for this mini cut right now. So cardio this week, in addition to getting out for a walk with Chief every morning and evening, I did 30 minutes on the stair climber Monday and Friday. Thursday, oh, it was a lot of fun, mixed things up. I did what I did the first week where I did um, 10 minutes of hit going back and forth, 30 seconds of battle ropes, 30 seconds on the spin bike. And after the first week, that 10 minutes killed me. I could barely walk after that 10 minutes and my upper body was just spent from the battle ropes. Whereas today I felt a lot better. I got through that 10 minutes a lot easier. Uh, it was a challenge, I was still on fire, but I did 10 minutes on the elliptic elliptical machine afterwards and then 10 minutes on the stair climber. So it's been great. Again, this isn't for fat loss. Again, this is 
Everything in my routine is absolutely the same, whether I'm in fat loss mode, maintenance mode, or muscle building mode. The only difference is I'm consuming 2,000 calories roughly uh, per day instead of the 2,800 to 3,000 calories per day when I'm in maintenance to muscle building mode. This is my lifestyle. I love the cardio for the cardiovascular benefits, the circulatory system benefits, my overall mental health and well-being. Um, I'm just I'm finding it's really helping. I think it's helping my performance in the gym as well because it just recently started adding on cardio back in uh, in mid-December there. So it's only been about a month now, just over a month that I've uh, been incorporating cardio into my overall lifestyle and absolutely loving it. And finally wrapping it up with lifestyle, which I have been absolutely nailing. As I mentioned, sleep has been 100% on point. I am sleeping like a champ. A lot of it has to do with my evening routine where I take Chief for his walk, come home, and I my self-massage routine, which I've been doing for almost a year now, I have lengthened it even more. I'm just getting more benefit out of it. So using the massage gun, doing some cupping, doing some foam rolling, just really working out all the little knots and trigger points, just helping my muscles recover from my training, which I think is really helping my workouts overall in general. After that, I read a book and then listen to a meditation audio before I wind down for the night. So all in all, I couldn't be happier with how this week has gone. I hope you have found some value from me sharing these weekly updates with you. I hope you, you gain some insights into how you can incorporate it into your lifestyle as well to get shredded after 40. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback, and any questions that you may have. I would love to help you in your journey as well. Uh, if you know a fellow bro who benefit from watching today's video, do my favor and share it with them. And before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.